Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to get smoother animation in DaVinci Resolve 17 in the Fusion page. Let's check it out. All right, so we are in uh, the Fusion page right now. I'm going to show you how to use the Spline Editor to get smoother animation. That's going to be very simple, uh, but that makes a tremendous difference uh, when doing animation. So for the time being, I'm just going to create uh, one title by bringing a text node and then bringing a mask node into my timeline. Then I'm going to link my mask to my text and here I'm going to add some text, DaVinci Resolve, for example. I'm going to change the font because I always like to use Montserrat. It's very clean in my opinion. Here I'm going to toggle that circle right there so I'm able to see what I'm actually doing. I'm just going to show that preview. We're gonna adjust the mask, just click on the node, adjust the mask quickly. And here we're gonna start to add some keyframe. So right now on my text, I'm gonna keyframe um, a mask reveal. So I'm gonna go over to layout. I'm gonna go to 16 frame because that's where I want my animation to end. I'm gonna add a keyframe right here. And then I'm gonna go to frame, frame zero and I'm gonna just drag that text out of the mask so it's hidden. And here we go. We already got our animation. But as you can see, the animation is very linear. There is like, it looks it looks a bit odd because it's, um, there is something that is that seems odd about it because it's linear. Uh, it's not smooth. So we're gonna try to smooth it out using the spline editor. In the spline editor, you have the possibility to play with curves to adjust your animation as you want. As you can see, you have a range of parameters that you can use here. Uh, you can use loops, you can use a lot of different effects. For the time being, we're just gonna scratch the surface of it and show you a quick way to smooth out uh, that animation. But uh, uh, look into all those parameters and they probably can help you achieve a lot of things um, when you're doing some animation. Um, you'll find just everything you need here uh, to do specifically what you try to do. So for the time being, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to select those two points, which is my two uh, keyframe that I've put. As you can see here, it starts from zero and it go up to 16. And here, that's the change of value going up like that. So I select those two and here I'm simply going to hit S and it's going to smooth out my curve. And already, as you can see, we get something that is way smoother in my opinion and that look way cleaner. It looks more professional. Um, now you can go a step farther. What I like to do is basically here in is in and is out, adjust it uh, as I want. So it might not be right there for you right away. So for that, you're just gonna hit T. If that's not there uh, on your keyboard, simply hit uh, T. It's gonna show up, you're gonna just pop that up. Is in, is out. And here, what I would like to do on this one is I'm gonna bring the is in to maybe about, um, 75%, 75 is pretty good. Um, because I want that curve to be as curvy as possible, if that makes sense, like that. Uh, in my opinion, it's what brings the best results. You can even go to 100% if that's what you're looking for. Let's check it out. And it just brings a bit more easing into the overall animation. Here we go. And uh, that's how we went from this to this. Uh, and for me, it's night and day. That makes a hell of a difference uh, and that makes your title look way more professional. That's pretty much it. As I mentioned earlier, uh, just check out all the parameters that you have here. You can do a bunch of stuff. Let me know uh, if you would like to see more about the Spline Editor, if you want to see more tutorial about that and how to get uh, animation uh, done in Fusion. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.